Richard kicked off the show with a pre-recorded skit involving Steve Martin. Soon after, he rushed to the BAFTA ceremony to meet up with Allison who joked he was late for makeup before the cameras headed inside the South Bank Center's Royal Festival Hall. Richard's opening monologue soon followed as well as a musical routine by Ariana DeBose minutes into the show, but it seemingly failed to grab the attention of many watching at home. Taking to Twitter within minutes of the BAFTAs kicking off on BBC One, several viewers made their thoughts known. Twitter user at underscore Maxib slammed the opening, well that's the hashtag BAFTAs off to a suitably toe-curling start then. And at Sheriff Stone echoed, this introduction to the BAFTAs is actually cringe hashtag BAFTAs. Elsewhere, Jan Whaley switched off after Ariana's performance as they raged, hashtag BAFTAs who the hell is this murdering a classic song? If this is the best they can do then it's time for the off button. Dreadful. And Johnny Brocking had to turn over as well, was going to watch the hashtag BAFTAs because I love Richard E. Grant. But I can't. It's so pretentious. It's only acting. Get over yourselves, they added. Son Notley added to the dismay, I might be turning off before a single award is given hashtag BAFTAs. But there was some praise for Richard and the awards as a whole as at Glavler argued, best opener. I love Richard E. Grant. Hashtag BAFTAs, followed by a love heart emoji. The award ceremony wasn't without its controversy, however, despite the work of the BBC editing team managing to cut out a key moment. During the Best Supporting Actress Award, it was wrongly announced that Gary Mulligan had won the award. CODA star Troy Kotzer was the man tasked with presenting the award and had to correct the announcement when he realized something was amiss. Instead, the Banshees of Inisher and star Carrie Condon was the winner of the award and was eventually given the gong. Carrie's win was one in a long line for the comedy drama but admitted that the mix-up in names caught her off guard. Joining fellow winner Barry Keoghan backstage, host Allison asked her, what did it feel like when you found out that you'd won a BAFTA? Carrie replied, I really, I almost didn't hear until I saw everyone looking at me. It was more when I saw the cast and everyone looking at me in the line and they're going, get up, get moving. She added to the mirror about the chaos, they called out Carrie Mulligan and I was like, oh my god what the fk. But the actor took it all in good faith as she added, but I don't care, I just won it. I'm so shocked I can't believe I won. I'll be looking at this for the rest of my life. The BAFTAs are available to stream on BBC iPlayer now, 